Hello, people viewers, and um, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews, where today I'll be reviewing Dying Phantom Season 1, Episode 3, Paradental Bonding. This episode is kind of slow and focuses more on the teenage or normal side of Danny, Phan Danny if, even though it has some ghost aspects in it, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, so, yeah. Danny tries to ask out the stereotypical, spoiled, popular girl of American high school TV, a foot like to, the, to a dance, and she only says yes, because he's trying to steal him away from Sam, because he's see things that Danny is her is Sam's boyfriend, so very smart. And like all stereotypical girls in TV land, well, popular girls, she has a scary father. It's just he's like a mini Hulk. Is now on the ghost. So Danny gives her the um this pendant that belongs to this ghost medieval princess and turns out if whoever wears it gets angry like even a little bit turns into a dragon. Now we get to see more of this character in a later season but I think she's better in that than this this. It just sounds a bit whiny but eh and there's a few new things in this like a new uh, device that is that invented with a uh, fishing lure that can they use as a fish for ghosts in the ghost zone has an unbreakable line and then he gets a new power where he can possess people's bodies or what they call overshadow and it's really useful like when it's to get his dad to go to a parent teaser meeting in Dog and Tell him there was one because he keeps dropping his pants or his pants keeps dropping on him Whatever. and there's this running joke about Mr. Lancer who is played by I don't, I don't think he's a great like uh, live action actor but I think he's just a great uh, voiceover actor Rom Perlman. Like, can you tell? He, he just. I think he's just great with the jokes. Like, he has this book about the uh, teen slang and he's just trying to. I don't know, bond with the kids or just try to speak their language. It's just a bit surreal. Well, not really surreal, just a bit weird. Anyway, when Sam and Paulina meet in the bathroom and Paulina gives the necklace to Sam because he realized that, as well, he doesn't realize Sam said that Danny is her boyfriend and then Sam gets mad because uh, she said I, because what, oh, well, that's all things that I said that she spoiled, stereotypical, sallow. A lot of popular American girls, mostly the Kardashians. <laughs> and she turns into dragon, and Danny has to fight her while trying to get make sure that doesn't embarrass him. I don't know why he doesn't think that man will embarrass him either, because mostly the the bottom just embarrass him. Um. It's, it's a good ending, like, this is, is a, could be a good episode, but this seems a bit filler. And the next episode is, I think it goes well, you know, it's got the tennis, the, the lesson of it, you really know who your friends are. But, some as long as the ghosts, uh, so it's like the serial flow friend, it is kind of good, but. Mm. I give it a three. Oh, ten. Not really my 
not really my type of episode, but as I said, it can, it does, sometimes it does work. You have to depend on the, the message of the, of the thing, like, this one is Don't Judge Book by its cover, or something like that. Or does it, or don't fall for a pretty face. I have no idea what the message is. Probably to watch it again. I'll see you guys later.